So today is one of those days, or this week is one of those weeks, where it's just work. I mean, look, hairy head, hairy face, um, very thick socks, because it is winter here in New Zealand, the middle of winter. Yes, it's nice and sunny outside, but it is cold. Not Canada cold, though. Um, so what I'm working on, I shall show you, is the sanding machine, yes, I'm pretty much where I left off last week, or two weeks ago, maybe, I can't remember. Motor here. Um, VST, variable speed drive, it's three phase. Goes into the sockets on the wall over there. Um, the controller for the motor costs more than the motor. Um, that's just the way it is, apparently. Got this big frame, bit of aluminium, bit of aluminium just cut the rails of the guide for the trolley so I will show you how that works So that's it really, goes back and forth. Um, still got to put these on, so these are gonna fit somewhere there like that. I'm waiting for some plastic to get cut to sort of mount them onto. And that will stop it going sort of from side to side. Um, so the idea is to have some sort of flywheel type pulley here, a connecting rod, and that'll go back and forth like that. And in case you forget, the whole reason for that is because I have these large titanium pots here. The bases aren't very good, and so I need to sand the bases. Ah, uh, when I say not very good, there's like a little dent, a little sort of circle in the middle, a little nipple, little whatever you want to call it, from the lathing process, from, from the CNC lathe, um, just deflection, because the base is so thin. So basically, you know, like I can do it by hand, but it takes like 300 of those per pot, um, you know, I've got a few hundred to do, so doing 300 back and forths on like a few hundred pots is like hundreds of thousands of back and forth. It's going to take months, it's going to kill my hand, it's going to... It's just not doable really, um, not within a reasonable time frame. So I can mount a number of these like this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, or thereabouts, and it will automatically go back and forth. So yes, I am delivering late on this Kickstarter project, it's already months late, but I just don't want to put it out with those, without the bottom or without you know any part of it being as good as I can make it, really. Um, so that's what I'm working on today. And if I am absolutely honest, it's not going very well. Really sort of hitting a bit of a, hitting some hurdles, you know? Things like um, realizing that the spindle here, you see how low the spindle is on there? If I put a pulley on there, unless it's, unless it's sort of that diameter, it's going to hit into the motor, so I've either got to get an extension or something like that. The other thing is that the motor should be more than powerful enough to do, you know, like more than one um, dolly, I'll call it sanding dolly. So, you know, like if, if it's going to take three, four weeks to sand what I need to sand, I could just double this up. It's easy enough just to make, you know, make double the, double the, uh, double the trouble, perhaps. Uh, two dollies, basically. And you know, it'll take two weeks instead of four weeks or whatever it is. So I'm trying to figure out, maybe I need to leave the option open for this to be able to do that. And, you know, I, I don't want to make a mistake in terms of, I mean, I make mistakes all the time. That's, that's what I do. But I don't want to make a mistake in, in say, cutting this or mounting things here. Because, I mean, this plate is like $500 just for that one. And, you know, so if I cut it wrongly and put something in, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, need a new plate. So I'm trying to just think things through before I sort of um, kind of jump, jump in and just, just do them. <laughs> <laughs> 